Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in this one I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to breed and hatch eggs with minimal effort in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So if you want your shiny Sprigatitos, shiny Florigatos, shiny Meowth Garada and so on then keep watching. So step one, you're going to want to come to Mesa Goes Out West. Once you're here, you want to come to this sandwich shop right over here, the first one that has a red front to it. Once you're here, you're going to want to buy at least 999 bananas. Once you've done that, you want to come to the third shop which is right over here and you want to buy at least 999 butter and at least 999 peanut butter while you're here scroll to the bottom and you want to buy at least 999 red pokeball picks because those are the cheapest honestly though just buy 10 of each and you should be fine next you want to fly to mesa goza south now if you're going after them shiny pokemon you're going to want a ditto from a different country than your own and then whatever you want to breed it with so in this case i've got one from japan so once you're at mesa goza itself you just want to run forward when you get to the center of this hill right here you want to make a picnic put your Coridon away go up to the picnic set and just click make a sandwich now scroll down it will be number 17 you just want to click that click it again now the peanut butter and the butter will automatically go on the sandwich so the only thing you need to put on the sandwich is the free bananas you can just put that anywhere you want and for the bread you can just put that anywhere I'll just put that over here for now and then you just want to put the pick on the sandwich and you're all finished now that is the quickest sandwich which I found to make egg power 2 so now that you've made your great peanut butter sandwich you will get egg power 2 for the next 30 minutes now if I come out the picnic click right on my d-pad you will see that for the next 30 minutes I have egg power 2 now I'm just gonna stand in front of the picnic that's on the floor and every five minutes that passes I'm just going to spam a until I've collected all the eggs now roughly every five minutes when you do check the picnic basket you will get around 10 eggs so one at 25 minutes one at 20 minutes, one at 15 minutes, one at 10 minutes, one at 5 minutes and one when there's no time left. And that should get you around 60 eggs every sandwich. You can even set a timer and every increment of 5 that it goes down, you can just click A and then go do something else. I don't stay at my Switch when I'm breeding eggs. I go on my computer, then every 5 minutes I just spam A and then I get loads of eggs that way. Now that you've got all your eggs, you want to fly over to the Poco Path Lighthouse. Once you're here, you should be facing straight and you want to take the left path right here that leads back to your house and you just want to keep going on this path until you find a pigeon okay so now that we found our pigeon also known as Fletchling we're just gonna throw a pokeball at it as far as I know you can't fail a pokeball catch on this route because it's the first route now the Fletchling you have should have the ability of big pecs and now we're gonna evolve it okay so our Fletchling has evolved into a Fletchinder and our Fletchinder now has the ability flame body now if you don't know what flame body is if the lead Pokemon in your party has flame body then all the eggs in your party hatch a lot quicker so as you can see my talon flame has flame body I'm gonna get some eggs from my box that I made earlier you want to click the minus button on the top one scroll all the way to the bottom one and then you can place them in all at once now there's a certain location where you can do this very quick what you want to do is you want to go back up to Mesa Goza and fly to Mesa Goza West now once you're at Mesa Goza West you know them food places that we was at earlier there should be a little plant pot looking thing with uh, combies there now you see these this uh, concrete circle here you want to just sprint around this holding up on your left analog and right on your right analog and you should just keep going in circles over and over and over again and you should hatch these eggs in no time as you can see we're not getting any interferences we're not running into anyone as long as you stick on this line you should hatch it and our egg is hatching already now so our first egg is hatched and you should only have to do one circle for your next egg to hatch so i'm going to do another one circle and once we get back around there our next one should hatch i didn't think we'd get a shiny this soon would be pretty cool for the video though right so we're going to go around again and our next one should hatch almost immediately that's egg number three so we're going to go around again Again to get our fourth egg and this is going to be our fifth and final egg which should hatch anytime now and can we get the shiny boo no shiny a little victory pose for you guys thanks for watching i hope you found this video helpful smash that like button if you did and subscribe for more pokemon content and i'll catch you on the next one